Done. Dumped him. Doubled up. Dude, rolled a bear. We've been glassing for probably a half an hour now. Turned up a few deer. There's a ton of choke cherries. Tons of tons of cover, tons of bushes. But a ton of choke cherries. Rose hips are not quite ripe yet. But we think this area could hold a bear. The choke cherries are ripe on the south side, south facing slope and not quite ripe on the north. So I feel like we kind of have a good mix of, you know, of ripe versus getting ripe type berries, but not quite right. So it should sort of consolidate the bears, you know, on the south facing, I would think maybe in the later afternoon when it heats up maybe they'll bounce over to the north facing side but seems like we're in good country it's just a matter of time behind the glass Kyle said this is the canyon he envisioned us seeing a bear Let's see if his visions are true what up youtubers <laughs> Shout out to all of Dylan's seven or eight subscribers. <laughs> it's about eight o'clock. We got up here about five, so I mean, it's been a few hours. And the sun is heating up, let's say that. It's supposed to be like 98 today and like 104 tomorrow. We decided to truck hunt um, versus, you know, like backcountry pack in slash dirt bike game like we've done in the past. Um, because you really need to find locate berries, look in essentially locate bear sign, and then camp there, right? Well, when when you go in on foot or even on a on a dirt bike. You're pretty committed to where you're at. And if you get in there and there's no berries, then, you know, it makes it a lot harder. So, so this is the first time we've done it this way. And we're just, the plan is, is just to stay mobile. We're just going to bounce around all kinds of different areas. It's pretty hard to leave this one because there are a lot of choke cherries. Just as soon as I thought I'd get lazy. Kyle, here's a loud pop. Said it sound like you know, a bear could be ripping on a log or something like that. So I'm gonna head over there and investigate. bear breaking a tree turned out to be a chipmunk dropping this dropping a pine cone get his book world records chipmunk 
but no. No bear. Next canyon. We just called for 30 minutes. I think we're in the right country, but we just gotta keep doing it. This is day one. It's like one o'clock. Stick with us. See what happens. We found a place to glass. That's probably the best glassing we've had all day. And we have seven hours till sunset. So we're gonna try and muscle it out, right? <laughs> That's the plan. We're going to try and stick it out. Seven hours. So we're going back to the truck to just get, I don't know, comfort stuff. Comfort stuff, yeah. It's too steep for a chair, but I really want a chair. Seven hours, man. We literally have two bears at the same time. This bear just went out of camera a little bit. He just walked out of range or out of the camera just to the next bush. Dude, he literally sits on his butt and then just starts Ooh. eating. Should we get down this ridge? I just need to shoot, dude. Yes. We're gonna risk making a bunch of noise getting down yeah, this ridge. Yeah, it's gonna slide a lot of rocks. And it's just unnecessary. Okay. Do you think right over here? Yeah. That bush is gonna be near. What about right here? Those bottom bushes. Can you use that stump? Everything's set up. Oh yeah, it's, I'm I just, just gonna, wanna keep tabs on that bear. I'm gonna leave it rolling. This bear's still in camera, that one's still rolling live. Uh, I think. Right here. I'm gonna be laying with my legs up, my body down. But it's just gonna be what it is. Is that bear still on there? Oh. 
Are we sure that's not a sound cup, dude? Yes. Huh? Yes. It is. No, it's not. Shoot that chocolate. Which one is? They're gonna come face to face. Huh? They're gonna come face to face. Shoot that chocolate. I gotta make sure I got the right bear. Is he still in view? Yes. Is he walking out of view right now? No, he's standing with me. He's a decent bear. Can you see him? Uh, I don't think so. I gotta get my binos on him. Oh yeah, I'm looking over him. He's standing on his hind legs, right? Yes. Yeah, that's... Uh, There he is. There he just came out. Now you should be able to see I him. See him. Like... I see him. I'm on. I'm on him. Okay, safety off. Okay. Shot way high. You shot way high. He's still right there. Way high. Way high. Got him. Got him. It's down. Now we're going down this crazy steep ridge. Because that other black bear is still on that same spot that he was. So, Kyle's gonna go dump his. Sixty-two to that spot. So. 
Oh, dude, he's been shot before. He's got a limp. Yeah. Well, I assume. But, oh yeah, it's a bad limp, dude. I mean, he's really carrying that leg. Oh yeah. You want to move and get to a better spot? Done. Dumped him. It's rolling. Dead. We just doubled up. You doubled up opening day. We just doubled up. Dude, roll the bear. Getting close to last light. Oh my gosh, dude. That was freaking intense. We have a hell of a next two days. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't even know how we're getting these out of here, dude. Seriously. Anyone have a helicopter? Dude. Where do you, where'd you last see him? Right below that other skid road. Your bear? Yeah, the upper skid road, he went below it. Dude, I'm still freaking. I was on him for so long. I'm just waiting for him to clear that bush. <laughs> Dude. I just want to make sure that fucker doesn't get up. Dude, no. You're barely moving. moving. No. Oh, he ain't moving, dude. Dude, just, that. Did he just. Oh, dumb. I just looked up. He and I literally said, didn't take one step, just started tumbling down that hill, dude. Dude. Wait till you see the freaking footage. Dude. 560 something? I watched the impact of the bullet just. You hit him like probably neck, dude. Like, oh, really? Dude, like, I would say I'm thinking either in the front shoulder or just in front of the front shoulder. Just dumped him. Stoned him. Dumped him. Stoned him. Oh my god. That was it. I felt, I mean, I was obviously shaky, but I was on him the whole time. Like, Seriously, our pack out, dude, is insane. I almost think. How far do you think get, it is? Let's go get yours and then get it to the truck and then we'll have to get mine in the morning, maybe. <sighs> okay, so I guess you kind of heard the plan. My bear should be dead, probably within 100 yards of us in the bottom of this canyon. And Kyle's is definitely dead, just on the other side, directly straight across from us, so. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but this is what we came for. This is what we came for. Get gritty, boys. <laughs> Get gritty. Lampers, where you at? Yeah. <laughs> Lampers, where you, you at? We need your legs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. So at this point, I feel like I need to give a little 
backstory to this whole thing. So, I mean, we started looking for my bear at, I think it was around uh, eight o'clock. We had a good solid hour of daylight. I side hilled back and forth four times in that 50 yard stretch that we knew for a fact that my bear ran down in the bottom of that hole. And I could not find blood. Kyle, he went right down the throat of that super deep, dark canyon and, and nothing. <clears throat> um, you know, these bears, when they get hit, they just run straight into the deepest, darkest, nastiest crap. And in this case, you know, he was only 30 yards or so from, from the deepest, darkest, nastiest. And I mean, you, we'd have had to step on him to find him. Uh, so, I mean, my opinion is, is that he's laying there dead still. We never found him. Uh, we looked for two hours, like I said, about an hour in in the daylight and then an hour like under our headlamps. Um, just back and forth in that section that, like I said, we knew for a fact that he ran down. We had him on camera. We, we reviewed the footage and and we just, we could not turn him up. So, I mean, at times it was so thick that you would have to like, you know, reach your hand in between the vines and like sort of peel back the curtain to see what was on the other side, which was super eerie in the dark looking for a wounded bear. I mean, hopefully a dead bear, but you don't know that, right? So let me know in the comments. I mean, what do you think? Is that a dead bear or, or what? I mean... I thought it was a pretty good shot and a well-placed shot. I should say that. And I, I, I just really thought that he'd be dead. I thought, I thought he'd be laying, you know, right where we watched him run down in that Canyon. But anyways, let's continue with the video. Let's celebrate Kyle's bear. Well, it's the next day. We searched till whatever. Nine o'clock last night. What well, do you think it was nine o'clock last night? When we hiked out. When we started hiking out? Probably not. I think it was almost ten. Almost ten o'clock. We searched hill in the headlamps. It was too thick to even walk. I mean, it's like impossible. The drainage is so thick that I mean you need dogs to find that damn bear. Anyways, it's the next day and uh, we know exactly where Kyle's bear died. So thousand feet or nine hundred I guess. Nine, oh, thousand feet down to Kyle's Bear. Biggest hellhole of my life. We're tracking the sink and we blew way right by it, way past it. So now we're backtracking through crappy tray to walk through. Pretty sure we know exactly where it's at now. Here. Yeah, he's up on this road. We have killed ourselves to find this bear. We knew he was on one of these roads, but to get over here, there's a lot of roads. And they're not really roads as you've seen. But anyways, process of elimination, checking every one. Uh, got it.
so we just found my bear at 924. Shot him last night. We uh, thought we had a good beat on him, but of course when you get to the other side of the canyon, uh, it always looks way different and it's super thick in here. And we were zigging and zagging and I mean, about four hours worth. And then we kept second guessing ourselves and looking at the maps and eventually kind of, I mean, it was the last spot we had to look that we thought could be it. And of course that's where he was. So he's a good boar. Probably 200 pounds or so, roughly. But now all the work begins. It's getting hot. We got a steep climb out of here. Hell of a climb out here. So, opening day bear. <laughs> Finally found. <laughs> We made it to the truck. We left it. 10.45. It's 1.45 now. That was absolutely the worst track out of my life. In fact, that's the worst canyon of my life. I told Kyle already I said, next year, if we're going to the same place, you just send me a picture. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go get him. We're gonna chug as much fluids as we can. We did not bring enough water. Today's one of the hottest days of the year. It was supposed to be 104 today. So you tell me, I don't know, two o'clock in the afternoon, what is it? But, and then we're going straight to the river and I am jumping in with all of my clothes on. I'm just gonna cleanse myself. Okay. Hey, it doesn't always go as planned. But, we put in our F, we put in everything we had, man. We put in everything we had, so. Thanks for watching.